Vernon, get out here. There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch. Holy. Vernon, put Clementine back on. I want to talk to her. This isn't Vernon. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. Please, don't hurt her. Hurt her? I'm not the one who hurts people. There's an ocean of dead between you and me and her, and if I can thank God for anything anymore, it's that. Just hold on, Clementine. I'm coming for you. This is bad, but we can deal with it together. We're going to need to hurry. How's that feeling? Fine. Don't worry about it. It wasn't a full chomp. No, it wasn't. We don't have a lot of time. We're about to have a lot less. We'll stop them if we have to. We find a way out of here. I think it's some sort of spreading device. Group says me out just looking at it. Looks like a car jack. I don't want to imagine this being used on a body. Just some surgical supplies. I'll have these doors open in two seconds. This will help. You got any better ideas? Okay, it's now or never. Hun, he's awake. We have to deal with this bite right now. I'm with you. Just look at him. We've got to save him. We need every second we have. Yeah, I know. We've got to take the arm. Do we know it works? Of course not. We know there's going to be a lot of blood. There's going to be a shitload of blood. What if he dies? Then you and I go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah. Let's do it. Maybe it'll work. It's a big risk. 
Yeah. We're down here without a lot of options. Fuck it. Cut it off. Seriously? Yeah. I'll go as fast as I can. You got <laughs> ah! Ah! Try to stay still. Ah! Ah! Oh God! Ah! I know. Getting to the point where we figured you weren't coming back. Ugh. Do you think you'll be able to travel? You lost some blood. Yeah. Then let's move as fast as you can. The elevator's open. I'll bring up the rear. I don't want to bleed on anyone. Jeez. Oh, We're gonna have to go as quiet as possible and see if we can make it to an empty floor or even the roof. You think it's possible for you? Yeah. Get going. Wasn't this city empty not too long ago? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There's thousands. Seems like they followed us here. But that can't be, can it? That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. 
Clementine's out there somewhere. Gobbled up and all of that. We'll get to her, Lee. We'll do whatever we have to. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. I, uh, don't think we can ignore what just happened to Lee. He lost a lot of blood down there. Omid's right. If you see yourself getting woozy or, you know, if it didn't work, just take it easy. Okay. Probably just need to go a little slower. And I know we can't afford dead weight, so... Don't treat me like I am. We won't. Now what? <sighs> we need to get down there and find a scared little girl. Let's try to get our bearings. He or she walked away from whatever accident happened. Well, that doesn't really mean much. It's an extension ladder. That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. We need to head back that way. We'll stop off at the mansion, like you said, and make sure we didn't overlook anything. Yeah. Just need to figure out a way to get there. What's up over here? Bell Tower. That's what's up. Hmm. Yeah. That could help. Hey. How's the leg? It's doing a lot better. Thanks for going into Crawford for me. Even if it wasn't entirely for me. Clementine, too. She's tough as hell. Isn't she? Yeah. Don't worry more than you should about her, okay? I'll see if we can make it out to that bell tower. Okay. Be careful, though. I don't want you going any sooner than you have to. Thanks. I think you're Clem's favorite, you know that? Really? Yeah, she's a big fan. You get away with shit I never would. We're getting her back, Lee. You know that, right? Yeah. When we get this fucker, we'll get out of sight and leave you with him. You get me? I get you. You need a hand with that? I got it. Damn it. Oh, shit. The bells. Yeah. Could buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You shouldn't be the one to go. My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. I'll go. No. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? If something happens to me, you two are all she's got, okay? Be careful. Maybe we should have someone more able-bodied doing that. 
You sure you're up for it, Lee? Say that again and you're gonna find out. Fair enough. I'm fine. I was wishing I had my other hand. No shit. Try to find another way out of there? way tons of them jesus now get back here i think i have to jump there's no way back fuck be careful i'm so fucked Nice. Now let's get the hell out of here. What the f They fucked us! What? Who? Vernon. He didn't have Clem. So where the fuck is she? With someone else. We're going after her. Fuck. Just... Jesus! Wait, the cancer patients did this? Yeah, they were waiting. Tired of living underground, I guess. They kicked the shit out of me and tossed me in here. Wait, what the hell happened to you? Cut it off. Seriously? Yeah. I lived through it, which is a start. And, well, uh, I thought it might save my life. I was lucky to get bit down on the wrist, far from anything important. But who knows? Jesus. Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. I don't want to go back out there again. Then don't. Go your own way. You're every man for himself until you and your boyfriend actually need something. You wouldn't have had a boat to lose without us. So shove it, okay? Worry about the boat after. You can scour the goddamn coast looking for him. I'll make that bastard wish the cancer had got him. You're welcome to. Just calm down for a second. 
We can do this in the yard. What do you think, Lee? What do we do now, without a boat? Well, I know you two are just gonna look out for number one. And number two. You know, yourselves. It's fun a small town. Maybe one that hasn't been ripped up too bad. At some point, people are gonna have to start rebuilding. And you guys and Clem should be part of that. I don't know. Lee's right, Krista. We've been so goddamn scared of strangers for so long, but at one point, we gotta take our chances, right? This is bullshit. You might not even be around, so... With all due respect, Lee, his opinion doesn't carry a lot of weight. Hey, it's still his little girl out there. She's number one. That's the end of that, okay? But what about... Oh, shit! Here they come! In the house! They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista! Get upstairs! Make sure nobody's here! On it. Kenny! Move anything you can up against the doors and windows. That's what I was thinking. Omid! What is it? Go now! Front hallway! Lee, help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Hurry! Take their goddamn arms off! <laughs> Now what? This is a big, sturdy house. It'll hold. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> Shit! Get upstairs! Go! <laughs> Guys, help me with this! That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. 
Okay. Let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent III. Industrial... Mead? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. So, no ideas then. Can't we fight our way back through the house? I've got a weapon. What else do we have? Not much. It'll be a goddamn mess going back down there. We're no good to Clementine dead. <coughs> hey. You're not looking great. And you're warm. I'm okay. Don't... What did that mean? She's at the hotel, where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her. Yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our... urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. We have to go now. Like right this goddamn minute. Where, Lee? Come on. We're trapped. Do you think that worked? I, I don't know. I hope so. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. We don't need to talk about it. I think we do. I said we don't. Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. What if it was you, and it was Duck out there? Whoa there, friend. I bet you'd rather stay focused on the problem, not have people turn on you. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. I'm sorry, okay? Fuck, we can't do this! We're gonna have to! You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look. It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. I wasn't gonna hurt you. Sure, pal. I know. Glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well. We probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. If you were me, you'd be a foot tall. Hey! And about 50 pounds heavier. You, uh, wouldn't get scared as much. With your arm and my leg, I'll cripple fight you right here, buddy. Oh, I still got this one. I can put my right palm on your forehead and just let you swing away. <laughs> Fine. You win, jerk. It's so weird. I keep doing a double take on your arm, expecting it to be there. 
I'm hoping whatever's in there right is gone, too. What do you think the odds are of that? I don't know. I know everyone's wondering. Even if it just slows down the process, I'd be happy. You don't mean that. So when we get this guy, what do you think? We figure out who he is, and why he's doing this. We can rescue Clem, but she won't be safe if this guy's not gonna stop. So, did your crew get into any shit before you met up with us? Is it possible to have survived and not gotten into some shit? And, you know, whatever happens to you, uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I was bitten, Krista. You cut it off. What good is it to plan around that work? What good is it for you to give up? I haven't given up. Find her family, okay? Somewhere she'll be safe. Don't do this. I want you to hear me. I hear you, but I'm not having this conversation. Krista. We could look after her. As long as she has a family. You hear me? Yeah. Of course. All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. <sighs> That, uh, feeling any better? What the hell do you think, Kenny? I'm not insinuating you're a damn superhero. I mean, do you think it worked? Did it, did it help at all? I feel like a man who got bitten. So, take that for what it's worth. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just, fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm... I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. We don't need to get emotional. I'm just asking him how he is. Lee's right. Your boyfriend's making decent progress. Need to be ready to move. I agree. I just wanted to say, you've all lost a lot. We're still here, though. This guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. Before y'all, we had this woman, Lily, with us. Lord knows where she is now. Anyway, we had to make some tough calls with her dad. She came between Lee and I pretty good. And I spent a lot of nights hating this guy's guts. It's all water under the bridge. All we can do is move forward. Well, cheers. I'm through! No walkers. Things are looking up. Keep a goddamn eye out. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well...
Smart. Think of all the people we've seen go. They got to do it their own way. Together. Don't you say that. You stick it out as long as you can. You do whatever you have to. I could have done more. You did everything you could. No, Lee. I could have been a better husband. Better father. Could have been a better friend. So let's figure out a way out of here. Get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. Don't ask me how I'm doing. Let's just keep going. Lee, you okay? Yeah. Let's keep at it. Judging by the decor of this room, I guess they were PBS watchers. Hey, my parents' house looked a lot like this. And they watch kung fu movies. Just saying. Hard to believe the world once felt this peaceful. What do you call this thing? Art? It's sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. Might be the way out. Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Let's keep going. Be careful up here. They haven't learned to climb yet, right?
It's good to be moving. You're doing good. I'm not, but I'm trying, man. What happened? Honestly, you know how many nights Cat and I laid in that broke-down RV? And she'd give me hell for not thinking enough about the rest of you. All of them. Every damn night. You got that walkie-talkie? Yeah, of course I do. You might want to give him a call and tell him we're coming for him. Yeah, right. Careful cross here. River Street's just up ahead. Nope. Maw of darkness full of walkers? Fuck that shit. Let's get off of here now. Yep, that. Let's keep going, you bunch of lollygaggers. Ugh. find this guy without it. And what if we don't? We need every clue that comes out of it. Lee's right. I am so fucking sorry. It's fine. We just need to figure out who's going down there. No, we don't. Krista! Jesus fucking Christ! I got it. Get me up. Fuck! We can't reach. Find something. Fast! Fast would be good. Keep a fucking eye on her. We need something sturdy. <sighs> Can you jump? I am jumping! Find a chair or something. It's pitch black down here. Find something, dude. We can't reach her! See anything? No, that's the problem. Get me out of here now. I 
am ready to get out of here. Can you jump? I am jumping. Grab onto this. We'll pull you up. Good. Thanks. Here, baby. Let's go! Jump! <sighs> Me and my fucking mouth. Ken, <sighs> what are you doing? Get her, Ken! Can't you said all that shit and not do something now? Come on, reach! <sighs> I got you, hun! Save her! Go, go, go! Can you fucking hear me? to get you. It's all right. Maybe you'll find us. What if he doesn't? He went down there for you. I know he did. He... Marshall's Hotel is around the corner of the block. Are you okay? Do you want to talk? Kenny was my friend. Soon as someone dies, they don't immediately have to have their sins forgiven. They get to now a moratorium, at least. I understand. This is a shitty time, but I want to make sure we're clear before we go forward. What is it? Now with Kenny, gone, means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. You guys would be great for her. Keep her safe. We'd do our best. You know that. Good. Thanks. Whatever your best is, I'll trust it. That's all you can do. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg, and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hard. The decision doesn't make itself. You 
you two should go across first. You're the lightest, Omid. I'll follow right after you. I meant what I said about Clem. I didn't doubt it. I appreciate it. How are you feeling? Good enough. Krista, you next! I'll figure something out. There's not a ton of options. Fuck it. I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? Find a boat. We'll meet north of town. A boat? We still have to get out of the city. I'll get Clementine and meet you. What if? Don't what if. I'll meet you.
got us adjoining rooms. Where is she? I already told you, she's fine. You look horrible. And you're missing an arm. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Just be cool. Do I not seem cool? Good. Go sit down. Do you know who I am? No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. I didn't take from you. Your people didn't? I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? It wasn't right. It wasn't our stuff. That's real good of you. Look, what do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to know what happened. Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Yes, of course. Who? My wife. Clementine said she wasn't with you. I hurt her a long time ago. How? In a lot of ways. She traveled for work. I didn't like that. I wanted a family. A reasonable thing to want. So we fought, and it made my biggest fear come true. Got sick one day on my way to class. Canceled it and went home. Found her there with someone else killed him. I was mad at her for so long, and I can't imagine how much pain she felt. How about you? I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on him said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her. So bad. And then we came back. And all our stuff was gone. Your people, Lee. That asshole in the ball cap. His stupid fucking wife. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. 
they didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? We all do. Some more than others. I'm not like you. You killed a man with a pitchfork right in front of a little girl. It's more complicated than that. You let a boy get yanked out of a window and into the night so you could protect a pretty girl with a gun. It was impossible to save him, to save them both. You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died! I couldn't leave her at the house alone. She would have been better off! How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. Just give me Clementine back. I'd rather kill her myself. Because that's what will happen if she goes with you. After I found Clementine on my radio, I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others. For revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did, and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. No. Shut up. It makes sense. It's not happening. You'll have to kill me. Yeah. I know. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... I'm glad too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but... It's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. Would have come back. That's right, sweet pea. I 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. Your arm's gone. Why? That's so scary. I had an accident. We'll talk about it somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Cleo, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. I'm sorry you had to see that. He was going to kill you. And take you. Yeah. to the other room. There's nothing in there. Can we go? Yeah, of course. stuff I had to get through a bunch of them to get here that's how we'll get out of Savannah Sure. There. That should do it. I hope so. And your 
missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. And walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe. Wake up! Please don't be dead! Please, no! Lee! I, I was so scared! I, I, I thought you left me! I, I... I saw my parents! It's a good thing. Lee! They're dead! They really are! Don't you know? be sad for a very long time, but you know what happened to them. When we get you somewhere safe, then just let it all out. Okay. Okay. Clementine, we have to get out of here as fast as we can. We can't. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through No, 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 that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't! Do it! It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. Pull on three. One. Two. Three! <laughs> <sighs> you do that? Because I was bitten, Cleo. Please, no. No. Th that's not true. Yes, it is. <sighs> There's 
no time to be upset. Okay. I'll try not to be. I... I think there might be a way out over there. Good. Good girl. Let's go. I might be a little slow. I'll help you. I got you. You can lean on me if you have to. I'm okay. I'm okay. I thought I was helping by bringing you in here. You're just learning a lot. Never let yourself get trapped. Okay? I won't. We'll get out of here. And just don't do it again. Okay, I won't, I won't. I won't. Keep going. We're almost there. Get up, Lee. The door is right here. <sighs> I can't. You have to. Liam, I can't move. This is it for me here. Please, please try to get up. I can't. You don't have much time. You gotta do something. Fast. Like what? You're gonna have to make sure I don't turn. You won't, though. Liam, I will. You know what you have to do. No. I can't. There's no way. figure it all out. Don't worry. There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. The way out's through there, Clem. I know. Use the bat to shatter that window, so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. Good job. <gasps> Don't be afraid of him, honey. You're smart. He isn't. You're smarter than all of them. Way out through there, Clem. I know. We'll get you in there. Don't worry. We're doing good. Grab the chair, Clem. Use it to reach in to the log.
Put the handcuffs on me. Attach me to this. But what? Why? No matter what happens, we're safe then. Uh, I don't know. Just do it, sweetie. Make sure they're tight. I don't... I don't want to do this. You have to. It'll keep you safe. If you only have to deal with him. He's trapped out of there. Be careful. You can get what you need from him. The keys. And then the gun. The keys and the gun. Just don't be afraid. If anything gets dangerous, you're faster than he is. What should I get first? Get the gun, Pim. Always the gun. Watch out! Yeah, but you did this. Smart. Hey. You're strong, Clem. You... You can do anything. see bad stuff, but it's okay. My parents. It's so horrible. I, I can't imagine, sweet pea. And now, you? Please. Please don't be one of them. Please don't become a walker. There's only one thing you can do. You know that. I don't know if I can. You have to shoot me, honey. Lee, no. It's okay. It's okay. Megan, first days we met. Do you remember? Yeah, I do. When I went out to rescue that boy, Glenn, I met a girl. She'd been bitten, too. All she wanted was to not come back as a walker. Lee? Remember how hard it was to do that. But I'm glad I did. You don't want to see me like one of them. Okay, Lee. I can do it. I I can. Find Tomid and Krista. They're looking for a boat. Find them. They'll take good care of you. Don't 
be afraid. 